Hi guys, Tom here from Imagine Lifestyles reporting for you from the bunker uh, during the coronavirus quarantine. Unfortunately though, today is a sad day. Today is the day that we gather to mourn the loss of a truly special vehicle uh, in the world of exotic automobiles. Now if you haven't heard already, yesterday in Manhattan there was a pretty serious accident, collision, crash, whatever you want to call it, involving an exotic car called a Gambella Mirage GT. Now if you don't know what the Gambella Mirage GT is, that's okay. A lot of people might not know about this car. It's a very, very unique vehicle. Only 25 of them ever made as far as I can tell. And they're based off of the Porsche Carrera GT. Gambella is a tuning company that would take cars from Porsche and other manufacturers and add more performance, more power, more body function to them to kind of tune them up for those who wanted just something a little bit more. Now the Gambella Mirage GT, when new, sold for about $750,000. And it seems that the prices of these vehicles hasn't changed much over time, probably due to their limited availability, only 25 products ever being made. Add to that the bizarre nature of this accident or collision or whatever you want to call it, and you've got a pretty unique scenario here. Now, as I mentioned, I am down here in my bunker on quarantine, as is most of New York City, but it seemed that one individual, namely Ben Chen, decided that he was going to take advantage of this time as an opportunity to drive his car fast through the streets of New York. How fast, you might want to ask? Well, this fast. Yeah, let's take another look at that. As you can see, he's going so fast in this video that when he hits that van, not only does he completely destroy it, but he throws it down the street. Now, an accident like this would be one thing to report on, but the story from here just gets even more bizarre. After his initial collision with the van, it appears that Ben may have spent some time talking to police officers and one of them may have even commented that he was concerned that Ben was going to try to leave the scene of the accident. And oddly enough, that's exactly what he did. Now, I'm not sure exactly what Ben was thinking here at this point. Uh, he's in a very unique car that's heavily, heavily damaged with unique custom plates on it, surrounded by people taking pictures and videos of him, and he decides to leave the scene of a very severe collision. As you can see, he doesn't get far down the road before other parts of the car come flying off. And from what we can see in this clip, it looks like he doesn't make it much further before he ends up possibly hitting another curb or just getting to a point where the car won't go forward anymore at all. As you can see in these final images, the damage to the car is quite severe. Now my question to you is, do you believe that this car is completely totaled or can it be saved? Surely there is an extensive amount of damage here that would cost possibly hundreds of thousands of dollars to repair, but when you're talking about a vehicle that's one of only 25 ever made, worth almost a million dollars, there is a possibility that someone would want to take on the project of saving this vehicle either for its historical importance or simply as an opportunity to have a less expensive exotic hypercar. Now for me, I would take a look at this and say that this is more than I'm comfortable getting involved with. By the time you get into all the repairs that there could be to the chassis, to the drivetrain, to basically every panel of the body, I don't think I would be interested in it, but I'm curious to know if somebody else out there is. I would like you guys to leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Is Ben's car completely totaled? Is it going to go to the junkyard and be done? Do we think that maybe somebody's going to pull the drivetrain and do something interesting with that? Put it in a different car or a boat or something ridiculous like that? 
Or do you think that somebody's gonna pick up the whole vehicle and restore it back to what it was before? While you're down in the comments, please also let me know how you feel about videos like this. This is definitely a new thing for me to be trying here. I've never made a video in my own home bunker quarantine area before. Uh, so it's an interesting new take for me. I'm curious to see what you guys think of it. So drop me a note below. Tell me if you want more stuff like this. So thank you so much, guys, for taking a moment to stop by and check out this video. I do hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider reaching down there and clicking on that subscribe button so that I can keep bringing you more great content in the future. But until we put the next one out, remember, keep a full tank.